Hey there. I've got a short stick with me today. If you prefer to use a long stick in your style, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to do a little bit of Saradari style for stuff. Okay. What we look at is blocking and defending attacks that keep coming. Okay. The way we're going to do this is imagine that my opponent is attacking me. Angle one, angle two, angle three, angle four, and finishing off with angle five. Okay. So one, two, three, four, and thrust, thrust, sorry, five. Okay. I'm going to defend them all. We well, find that you have a problem. So if you're not used to train this way, is that a lot of people sort of have a what I can best describe as a fighting stance. Okay, so um, you might say, yeah, in my style, we fight from here, or from here, or from here. Great. Now I'll put it like this. I just hit you, angle one. Yeah. And now you s attack me back with angle one. Yeah. You block up your forearm and hit me straight back. Yeah. I'm not in my fighting stance anymore. None of those stances that people might use is this. So I'm going to block from there. Okay? Or I hit you angle two. And now you come back. Well now I can't do that one anymore because my stick is simply in the wrong place. I mean if I try and do it, look as fast as I can. That's quicker. Okay? So from there, I've got to do something different. I'll do that. Okay? And so I need to be able to work with the place where I am, not where I want to be. Okay? This is the same for anything. If I were sort of empty hand style, if I say this is my fighting stance, I hit you here and now, or here, or whatever, and now you kick me in the stomach, I've got to be able to defend it. So if I say I've built my system around blocking with my front hand, I block, I counter like this, it was sort of, a lot of karate people would have said, I'm going to do Didambarai, Gyakazuki, like this. But if I punch you here, I haven't got that option anymore because the kick's already out and if I try and get Kazuki I've got to come back and then go out. So I'd have to block it with my outer and backhand somehow. Or move out of the way. Okay? That's what I'm looking at here. Because at that point I can't do that anymore. Back to my stick. So, we'll do it like this. In Serada, it's always considered you need three defences to each of the first five angles. And the three defences, really simple. One on the inside, one either underneath or on top as appropriate. So if it was there, you're not going to be on top, you're going to come from underneath, whereas if it was a rising attack, you're going to be on top of it. So one inside, one underneath or on top, and one on the outside. So just looking at angle one, it works the same for all of them. Angle one, we'll do this inside block. Okay? That's good if my, if my stick's kind of over here somewhere, or if I was fighting from here, just do that. Okay? Next one comes again. Maybe I've hit you on your leg and you counter to my head. There we go, I'm underneath. The counter finishes the same way. Okay. And then, what if, um, I don't know, I just hit him, and now you come. Parry it, hit through, hit, check, check. So my stick was in different places, and I can still defend what you're doing. Okay, so now I'm gonna work through my first five angles and I'm going to do it and go from where I get to, not where I think I want to be. I'm not using a stance at any point. Stance being like a preset fighting stance. Like you think boxers fight from here. Right, that's yes, that's true. But a lot of the time they're not in that position. Can they still do stuff from here? Of course they can. So, angle one, you attack. I'm going to go my inside block, hit to the stomach, hit to the wrist check hit the wrist that is now sitting on the opponent's wrist like this then it comes angle two block it check hit check then it comes angle three so that's to there on me so I'll come back hit then it comes angle four remember it starts with a thrust and then underneath and then he comes with the angle five thrust to me so I just take that outside come there but now, look where I am. I finished that check. Coming with angle one, I'm no longer in a position to do that because it's a long way around. So I'm just going to go underneath and come to there. Okay? Angle two comes. Comes there. So I'm just going to lift this one. I could go that way, but I'll change it. 
then angle three comes. I'm in the wrong place to do this block, which I did last time, so I'm gonna have to do it with my hand. Pass it, hit, check, check. Like, then that comes, the thrust comes, bop, there, and then it comes underneath, I'm gonna go straight back to that, and pass it. So what I did there is parry, is parry off the knife attack, then drop back to a cross block, and then come out like that. And then, five thrust comes, parry it with my hand, strike, check. Now if I want, I could go back and do that one, but as I'm here, I'm gonna go thrust into there, come out like that. And then this is comes, so I'm gonna do, I'm below it, I could do this, but I'm gonna go parry it for one with my hand, and parry it with my stick at the same time, call that umbrella block, finish, hit, hit. Okay, now that's coming low, so I just move out of the way, hit, hit, check, hit, hit. Okay, stick comes, so here, so knife comes, there, parry that, there, and then, I like this, comes to me, I just do that. Right, that's all Serato Screamer, the way I blocked them up, but it doesn't have to be like that. So, if I have a different style, I'm just showing you that I'm blocking from where I am. So how you can do this, is you can pick a number, like two or three, good numbers, and do a two or three beat defense to every one, okay? What I mean is this, so I block angle one, one, two, I've just hit him on the head and he still comes back to me. Block that from there, one, two, and he comes back to me. Now I'm in an awkward position to block something that's coming underneath my stick, so I have to take it with my hand. Pass that through, one, two, see I've taken angle one, angle two to the head every time. And now, we'll say because I'm not in Serato Scream anymore, there's no, um, knife thrust, it should stick coming back on, on low, so I'm happy to go up there, one, two, and then this comes, five thrust, one, two, yeah, and so I'm working from where I end up, not where I want to be, I'll do it um, three beats, okay, so start a little bit differently this time, I'm going to take it like this, there, one, two, three yeah and I'm not doing the same stuff every time this comes angle two you see I'm in a reasonable place to defend angle two so I just change my feet one two three that's coming in low so all I'm gonna do is step back and have a Nico downward there okay see I've come from there like that one two three there's that one this comes Pass, one, two, three. This comes again, one, two, three. See, you make up as you go. But we use the elements that we've used already on previous videos and put those into it. So I could do one half of the X, okay? So from here, block, one, two, three, at which point that comes in. So now I'm gonna go somewhere entirely different outside okay. there one two three that comes so I pass it one two three that comes block one two three this comes block one two three this works with a partner works without a partner it doesn't matter the main thing is exercising, is exercising your mind and getting you in the idea of I'm not hitting and retracting all the time to come back because that doesn't always work, right? I hit you here and you hit me, I come from there, see? I've come from there to there. I hit you here and they hit me there, I come like that. But I hit you there and you come on top of it, I'm maybe going to do something like that, okay? Or you hit me here. So I've got to come like that, or just take it with my hand and come straight back. Okay, that's something to think about. That's a long-term thing. You're not going to get that in sort of one easy lesson. Okay, so 
try that, see how you get on with it, and I'll see you for another video tomorrow. Have a good evening.